Hello, my name is Lupita and I will show you how to download ebooks from a Windows PC. My uh, laptop has Windows 8 and but it's pretty easy to download um, on your tablets or ebook readers. But for this purpose, I will show you how to download ebooks on your computer. First of all, I'll show you through Barnes & Noble Nook ebook reader. Right here I have the Barnes & Noble website. I already signed in. And as you can see, it has books, Nook books, textbooks, etc. Um, for this purpose, I'll just click on Nook books and Nook top 100. They are the top 100 notebooks that they're selling on Barnes and Noble and um, let's see yeah you know for this uh, thinking of reading Plain Truth notebook edition by Jody Picoult and uh, let's just say oh it's only $1.99 it's a good price I should also mention that you can also download books from your local library. Um, for this purpose, if I don't want to spend the $1.99, another uh, great feature is um, you can get a free sample of the first 20 to 40 pages. You can read the first 40 and you'll get the feel of the book if you're into it or if you just don't not interested that way you'll decide whether to buy the book or not and um, if it's worth buying or not so for this purpose I'll just get a free sample and it says your sample's been added and I have the Nook app on my computer and I have an iPad so wherever you have the application I can read the same book. I can start reading the book on my uh, on my computer then stop and then continue later reading it on my iPad. It's um, it'll be the same thing wherever you have the Nook app. So um, I'll minimize it here and then I have the Nook application right here, but I already have it here on my open up ready for you. And this is the Nook application. This is what it looks like on the computer PC. It says um, this is the main page. This is my library. And in order to get like the latest um, number of books that you just buy or they just bought sorry you'll just right click and you'll see this page right here uh, the, or this button I'm sorry it'll say sync and there it is it's synced to the latest number of books and uh, there it is it says plain truth by Jody Picoult and I clicked on it and it downloaded it. Click on it again. Hello. And it says opening plain truth. And right here on the bottom it'll it'll say page one to forty seven. You so you have the first forty seven pages. And that is it. That's how you download books. And on the PC, um, oh. um, sometimes um, it'll have like the like the two pages, but in, in here it has like the first whole page on the whole screen. And if you like it, you don't have to go back to the web browser to the Barnes & Noble website to buy the book. You could just click here. 
and just click buy one one ninety nine, and then that's how you buy the book. Um, to go back to the main to the home page, you just right click right on the top, and this is uh, it'll it will always say currently reading plain truth because that's the most recent book that you just opened and started reading. You can make annotations. You can put your bookmarks. Um, this is the home page. This is the library. So and for this purpose, I'll just click on home page. It'll bring you back to the home page. Right click to show you uh, the library. And it'll say library. You have nine books. And click nine, most recent. And then um, to save space, there's um, you can um, archive books. So it'll say nine books that they're currently open, available on the app. But there are five others that are not currently on the app, but you still have them available. If you want to open them again you have to download them again without having to buy them again you, you still own the book uh, let's say I wanted to read um, Dan Brown Inferno which I read this book last year this is an archived book I click on this and it says right here download And it's um, either you can just see that it's already ready for you to start reading if you want to read it again or you can go back to home or library either way home right click on the bottom this point on the left sync <laughs> Seeking new items. Go. <laughs> Go to your library. Now you have 10 books available. <laughs> All books. And these are the books that are ready. They're ready to be read again. And Dan Brown's Inferno, which was not available before, appears right here too. And to put it back to the archived books section, um, right click. And you'll have to see this check mark. Right click on the book. Let me do um, the let me do this again, just so you'll see. <laughs> right click on the book. And then, and then when you do that, this uh, category appears. And you can see view details, pin. And this is where it says archive. Click on archive. And of course, you don't see the book anymore. This is a book that I read before, so I'll click that and I'll put archive. And then let's just say that these four books they, they did not interest me. As you can see, it's a sample, 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 sample. So you'll know that um, they're not whole books right click if you want uh, the full version you can click on here um, if you made a mistake on right clicking it uh, you clear selection and then and then I'll just archive it 
Then I can Okay. And so that's how you um download ebooks for the Look application either through um the Nook application and how you buy books on the Barnes and Noble website. Um, and on right on the sh the right here, you can buy books on the Nook app. So you click on that. You just scroll right, and here are the books. So you. This is another way for buying books without having to go to the web browser and go to the website. It, you can just, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection, internet connection, you can just buy the books right through the Nook application. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or just want to talk about books, please comment in the comment section below the video. Thank you and happy reading.